Shade, and welcome to today's edition of Wildcat News. Today is Thursday, March 2nd. Before we get to our show today, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. First today is Read Across America Day. Read Across America was launched in 1998 as a year-round program to celebrate reading. Since Dr. Seuss had such a big impact on the reading world, his birthday, March 2nd, was declared Read Across America Day. And one important announcement for spring athletes, registration for high school sports closes this Monday. If you haven't registered by then, you will not be allowed to participate. See the spring coaches for any additional details. Now, instead of our regular morning announcements, we are showing you a tutorial video explaining the new Smart Pass system being implemented here at MSHS. Students, please follow along and try to log into the system using your Chromebook or phone. Welcome to Smart Pass. This is going to be a short tutorial on how to use Smart Pass as a student. First, we'll go over your home page and how to make a hall pass. Then, I'll show you how to make requests to your teachers for locked rooms. To create a hall pass, first click on the green Pass for Now button. Then, select where you are in the school. In this case, I know I'm in Ms. Hoover's room, room A101, so I will click on Hoover. Now you can click on where you want to go. Here I'm going to click on any room without a lock icon, in this case the water fountain. Then just estimate how long you'll need with the slider, then click Start Pass. And that's about it. Now you have an active hall pass. You can leave your device at your desk and leave the room like usual. Once you get back to the room, be sure to click on the End Pass button. If your pass goes over time, it will go red and start counting up, so make sure to end it. Your teacher can always see the passes you make. Now that you've ended your first hall pass, you can see all of your previous passes on the expired passes page. Click on a pass to see more information about it. That's about it for creating normal hall passes. Smart Pass is a simple and easy system to use on the daily. Next, I'll show you how to favorite your schedule so that the rooms you use most are easy to find. First, find the settings button in Smart Pass. This will either be at the top right or the top left of your screen, depending. Then, click on Favorites. Look for the room that you want to favorite. In this case, I want to favorite room A102. And then click on the star button to favorite it. Now, when I create a pass, I see all my favorites at the top, so they're easy to find. Next, we'll go over how to send a hall pass request for locked rooms. Again, I'm going to click on where I'm going. And in this case, I'm going to click on a destination, in this case, the library, which is locked, which you can see here on the top right corner. When you want to go to a room with a lock icon in Smart Pass, you have to get permission from one of your teachers. So when I click on this locked room, I either need to search for or tap on the teacher I want to send the request to, or in this case, the teacher is pre-selected for me, so I don't have to do anything. Then, I just type in a message for why I want to go to that room. Hit next. I adjust the time for how much I'll need in the hall, and I send the request. Once you click the send request button, your request has been sent to the teacher and is waiting on them to approve it. You can always cancel the request by hitting the trash icon at the top right corner. And once the teacher approves the request, it will switch into an active hall pass and then you can go ahead and leave the room like usual. If you need to visit a teacher in the future, like to make up a test, click the future button on the home page. Then, select the date and time for when you need to go. Where you will be at that time, in this case, tomorrow at 3.34, I know I'm going to be in A102, and where I'm going, so I want to go to the library. You can add a message, and then you can send the request. Once the request has been sent to the teacher, your teacher will approve it and you will get a scheduled pass. You can see the scheduled passes on the right side of your screen under the request section. If you click on the pass, you can see more information about it. 
and you can always delete the requests by clicking on the trash icon. After the teacher approves the request, your request will turn into a scheduled pass. At the scheduled time, your hall pass will activate, and you can show it to your current teacher so you can leave the room and make up your test. That's about it for this tutorial. If you ever need more help, you can visit our website at www.smartpass.app to read or support articles or rewatch this video. Finally, we'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Eddie Leahy, Brandon Rivas Aguero. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. From all of us in the TV studio, thanks for watching and, and have, have a, a tremendous, tremendous Thursday. Thursday.